Georgia, the ridges are like gigantic, it seems like. It's like big terrain features compared to like, if you look at a topo map of like here, like where we're sitting right now, uh, there's just like a bunch of little points all over the place. Yeah. But it, and there again, there's a lot of people that can look at these maps a lot better. Like you got- Oh my God. It is um, 5.45 and uh, I am two and a half hours from home. Um, very tired, <laughs> very tired. I got about a 30 minute nap in after driving all the way down here. And, uh, <coughs> whoo, excuse me. I would feel a lot better about this hunt if there wasn't 249 other individuals with a tag on this teen, uh, Kentucky quota hunt. Uh, but nonetheless, this is what I would consider a perfect morning to go turkey hunting there is no wind it is 45 degrees it is early april i mean it don't get no better than this morning so if i don't hear some turkeys gobble i'm probably gonna sell my stuff and buy a couple golf clubs then i'll suck at that and then I don't know what I'm going to do after that. We'll jump out, get dressed. I'm not going to get in a hurry and get too far from the truck right off the bat. I want to see if maybe there's a bird within four or 500 yards of me and make a play on him. But there's a great looking ridge system back here behind me. There's a main ridge that comes down to, and V's off on two different sub ridges. And I guarantee you there's a bird at least on one of those. So. Jack legs just shot at these turkeys. They glided over here in front of me in the field, landed out there, went up the hill. He was actually just gonna sit there and calm down, it looked like, but they probably walked right out in the field. They shot at him like 90 yards. Well, I'm back at the trunk. I wouldn't say I'm defeated. I'm not even close. But, uh, started off the morning going out here after these two birds across this field. Unfortunately, somebody was on them, so I backed off. Let, let the woods just see what they wanted to do. The turkey that was gobbling over here to my right 
roosted about 50 yards off the road. He shut up after so many people drove by, and then from that point on, it was a kind of wishy-washy, and I don't know if it's the same bird that went across the road, but I'm, if it is, he pitched off that cliffside and flew all the way to Kentucky, or to Tennessee. But then people shot at them two birds this morning. I saw two turkeys run up or fly over right in front of me. 110 yards out in the field, 120, something like that. They both walked off. So, there was another bird or two down in here. Goblin, besides those, I'm back in there. Those two now have been shot at, so they're not going to be very easy to call in. But, uh, I'm, gonna... I'm, keep... I'm hearing turkeys gobble, okay? And I normally don't have this problem. But I can't tell what damn direction they are because they're so faint. Okay. So I've elected to drop back down in this bottom, basically where I started this morning. And get the hell away from this road. Where all these goobers are driving around non-stop. And hear some birds back in here that you can't hear from the road. Beautiful day, though. I don't know if I've ever, if, if I can, if I've hunted a day like this. I mean, I'm sure I have plenty of times, but I don't remember any being this beautiful. I mean, it's unreal how nice it is. There is no wind whatsoever. Turkeys have been gobbling great. I mean, I've just been enjoying just hearing them. You know, that's a great feeling. Um, I'd like to, I'd like to. I'd like to kill one, don't get me wrong, but you see I got the hat off. Good sign. I am uh finding the mushrooms. Also just fired a oh saddie's fatty off at that coyote right there. We just giving the turkeys a break for a moment. Picking a little food. And uh, <laughs> shooting some turkey eaters. Oh, there's no right there. Oh, man. Over here, grab his big and fry. Lose it. I pull the spore out of him. I try to push it back down the ground. Another one right here, I'm just not seeing it. Found a bunch of mushrooms today. I found 115. Found a shed. And now I'm fixing to find something to eat and then find the back of my eyelids for about two hours. I think. So now. Uh, Oatmeal cream cookies, sour cream and onion chips. Brought my uh, charger, bottle of water, and the mushrooms over here. That way they're in the shade. I'm about to kick these boots off and take me a nap here. Listen to all the cars drive by, stop and get out and yelp at turkeys, and keep going. Spending a whole lot of time talking right now. I spent the majority of the morning trying to find a turkey to hunt because I gotta leave by 8:30. And I finally just found one around the road here.
There's so much road noise. If I can get on this ridge up here with him, without him seeing me, got a good chance to kill him. He is that way.
I knew I should have shot when I had the chance. He just been right here, just strutting, gobbling back and forth. What tree was I on? Dude, I suck. There's no other way to put it. I just suck. He was right here. And he come. I, mean, I, was, I did everything perfect. I got up here on him. Close enough in his bubble. I made two or three yelps and he come right freaking to me. He didn't have to walk 20 yards to get to where he could see me. The problem was, if I could find the damn tree I was on. Who freaking cares? There's the tree I was on. That was me. I was on that tree. Right there. And when he was up there, his head was just on this side of it. I mean, I could see three quarters of his head on this side. And I wanted to swing out more, but I thought he'd freak. And then like, I was like, he's gonna take a step back this way. And the second he did, I freaking whiffed it. <laughs> is off to a great freaking start. All right, yeah, like I said, Try not to get too down on myself about the miss because stuff happens. I had my best chance to kill that bird the second that I seen him and I hesitated. I let him get his head behind a tree and uh, from then on out I was basically trying to decide if I wanted to um, take the shot with about half of his head showing or wait for him to take another step. I elected for him to take another step but he took a step in which a direction it did not help me. Therefore, I rushed the shot and I missed. And it happens. And uh, like I've said before, man, it could, be a, <coughs> it could be a lot worse things happen in this world than missing a turkey. It's just, uh, it's aggravating when it happens so many times, especially when you're not close to home. I don't know what hurts worse, if you miss one close to home or if you miss one far away. I mean, I missed two birds in, or a bird in South Dakota and Wyoming last year. <laughs> so, 18 hours from the house versus two and a half isn't too bad, but no, I'm just gonna lick my wounds and keep on trying, I guess. <laughs>